First of all, understand that the Russians have built one of the most uh, complex, in-depth defensive networks in modern history. In fact, maybe in the history of the world. Uh, this is designed uh, to doctrine by the man who wrote the doctrine. That's Colonel General Alexander Romanchuk. Uh, he wrote this new doctrine, Russian defensive doctrine, after the special military operation began, after the Ukrainian successes last fall. And then he oversaw the construction of these defenses, and now he's been pulled out of the academy to command the defenses. Um, and they're fully manned with highly trained personnel, well-equipped personnel who are fighting doctrinally with air superiority, artillery supremacy. Um, the reason why I bring that up is this is a triple layered defense, but there's a fourth aspect to it, which is the gray zone and the flexible defense zone in front of the first barrier. Ukrainians haven't gotten out of the flex zone. They haven't even gotten close to the first line of defense. Okay, let me they're probably you. never going to. Let me stop you for a second. Is the flex zone sort of like a, like a buffer, like a demilitarized zone? It's not demilitarized. The, the gray zone is demilitarized. It's a sort of a no man's land that you have to come through. You come into the flex zone, you'll hit barriers, you'll hit troops. But the whole idea is to absorb the attack and then shape the advance so that the Ukrainians go where the Russians want them to go, i.e. into the middle of a minefield where there's pre-registered artillery fires. The helicopters already know they can pop up and shoot. And then they slaughter the Ukrainians, which is exactly what happened. Now, war is dirty. Uh, let's not pretend that the Russians are doing this on the cheap. Vladimir Putin spoke about casualties, spoke about the high number of Ukrainian casualties, but he also said that the kill ratio was 10 to 1. So remember that for every 10 dead Ukrainians, there's a dead Russian, and there's a lot of dead Ukrainians. So that means that Russians are dying. This is this is war. It's complicated. It's hard. It's bloody. It's dangerous. But the Russians are fighting to their strengths, and they're winning. The Ukrainians aren't even coming close to coming to the first line of defense. All right. Briefly, what are the three levels of defense? What, what do they consist of? Well, first of all, the, the, the defense is a main, a main line of trenches with supporting trenches. Uh, each one has uh, barriers, uh, minefields, uh, they call dragon's teeth, the concrete teeth, and then they all have artillery fires. They're designed to break at a pre-designated point. You know how a well-designed car, when it hits something, collapses around the, 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 the driver's compartment to save the driver? A right. well-planned right. defense collapses around the strong points, letting the enemy go where you want them to go into what's called a fire cauldron, and then the artillery rains down on them and slaughters them. And now if they break the first line of defense, which they should if you're doing a good attack, the first line of defense is designed to be broken. It breaks, collapses, and creates a corridor that they go down. They come up to the second line of defense, which is an impenetrable wall, and they get slaughtered there. Then the third line of defense is where the counterattack force is. They move out and clean everything up. So far, the Russians haven't had to break the first line of defense fall back on the second line of defense, or employ their dedicated counterattack forces. This is war. It's bloody, but there, there, there isn't a crisis going on right now on the front lines.